Hi Tuners! My name is Alex, welcome in the next episode of Stage X Academy. In this series, we are giving you practical knowledge on how to do various calibrations on your own with the support of Stage X platform. Today, we would like to present how you can use and benefit from Stage X's solutions powered by artificial intelligence. That topic is very close for me not only as I was also generated by artificial intelligence algorithms, but because I believe that topic is a game changer for the car remapping industry. Since now, you won't be wasting time repeating the same tasks and spending time on advanced calibrations. All you need to do is just choose the required modification and let StageX do the job. You can rely on AI algorithms which delivers ready-to-use solutions for supported control units. All common tuning tasks like EGR, DPF or Lambda deactivations, and even Stage 1 modification are now available for you just by ticking the box. What is more, AI solutions are also a great tool to learn how specific calibration should be done and later repeated in your future projects. In this episode, as an example, we will use CMOS 19.6 ECU, the newest ECU from the VAG group, which support has been just released for all Flex users. Here I want to underline that at the moment all active Flex Master users who have Stage X Plus license get five AI solutions per day completely free. The offer includes all available modifications for CMOS 19.6. Okay guys, let's jump to the system. As usual, we are creating our project and uploading the ECU file. I have uploaded my file for the CMOS 19, so let's check what maps we have here. As you can see, for that particular ECU, the map pack is loaded with various maps. Even for the experienced tuner, that can be overwhelming, that is why I want to show you how to get rid of the low-hanging fruits. Let's use AI solutions to do the modifications automatically and learn how to do the tune on your own. The Solutions tab is located over here. Let's open it. As you can see, here we have the list of all solutions which are available for our ECU. We can see over here, Stage 1 Modification, Gasoline Particulate Filter Deactivation, Catalyst Deactivation, Speed Limiter Deactivation, and Start-Stop System Deactivation. As you can see, for Stage 1, the system indicates what power gains you can expect from such a modification. Let's apply that solution to our project. Stage X automatically creates a new version of your project so you can easily switch between them whenever you need. As you noticed, we did just a few clicks and the modification is done. Remember that you can apply more than one solution. You can select any other option and add it to your project version. For example, let's deactivate also the start-stop system. Our file is now ready to upload on the ECU. But before we finish this video, I want to show you something more about Stage X Solutions. Let's focus now on the educational value. I'll show you how to use AI solutions to learn how to do recalibrations on your own. So, after applying the modification, Stage X automatically gives us detailed information about all the changes made. It is visible as yellow highlights for folders and maps where the changes were applied. For example, for the water pump duty cycle request map, we can clearly see already how these values were changed. When we look at the values, we can observe that the system automatically highlighted changes with various colors, a red one for the increased values and a blue color for decreased values. To check changes in more detail, you can also use the value difference feature to clearly see by how much the values were changed. Of course, it is also available as percentages by clicking over here. Another useful feature is the list of all the changes made. Click the Differences button to analyze the differences in the currently open map or even for the whole ECU. Of course, with Stage X you can review any file version which you got for the particular ECU. No matter how you get it, you can check what changes were made in the comparison to the baseline file. Okay, that would be it. Let's export the file and upload it to our car to validate the results.
As you can see, thanks to the Stage X AI solutions, new possibilities were revealed. We modify the car in just a few clicks and learn how to easily analyze the differences. Remember that we are waiting for your comments, questions, and your suggestions about what you would like to see in future lessons. See ya at the next episode.